Welcome to PCOA's Healthy Tidbits for Staying in Place. These sessions are brought to you by the certified instructors who are normally teaching PCOA's Enhanced Fitness. My name is Monica and I'm going to be doing a 15 minute session on correct form for upper body exercises. Please remember that throughout today's session, uh, to move safely in the space that you have around you, I'll be in a chair as this is a really great place to start. And uh, anything that I do that doesn't feel good, just avoid. Do not move into pain. Breathing in through your nose and exhaling through your smiles throughout class. Be sure to hydrate, drink that water, and have some fun. So you're not going to get a full workout, but I'm hoping that what you will get out of today's um, lesson is how to do these exercises correctly. It's better to do one correct versus 10 incorrectly. So let's do our best to uh, work on form and function. So our first exercise today is our back row. The back row is an exercise that we use to strengthen our back. The biggest mistake that we see in this exercise is posture and the use of our shoulder and elbow versus using the back muscles. So I'm going to be turning to the side in my chair to explain better posture and form. With your ear over your shoulder and your shoulder over your hip, you have already Pass test number one. You are engaged through your core and ready to up work exercise that upper body. Now, second in this is your knees are going to be in front of your hips and your ankles should be lined up below your knees. So ear over shoulder, over hip, over knee, uh, hip in line with the knee and ankle below the knee. At, in this position, your core is engaged. If you were to let go of that alignment, you're turning off your core. So let's get that core turned off. Now from here, we're going to fold forward at the hips. Avoid rounding. So folding forward at the hips keeps my ear, shoulder, and hip in line. If we were to round, that line would go away. So we want to roll those shoulders back, maintain that alignment. In this position, now we're ready for our first back row. The back row is an upper back to mid back exercise, and this is what we're looking for. Those shoulder blades to come together behind us. Inhale down, exhale as you perform the exercise. Inhale, and exhale, bringing those shoulder blades together. Inhale, and exhale. Continuing. Okay, now that I've taught you to do it right, go back to maybe an old habit. Let that, that back just round. Maybe just do it quickly. Is this something that maybe you used to do? Here we go. Let's get that alignment back and do the next five going back to good form, and does that feel different? Can you feel the difference in that upper back working? Big breath in as we come forward, and exhale, coming back. Go ahead and sit back up. Now, coming back in front here, I'm gonna do that exercise, demonstrate it, just a little bit different. This one is also a back row, but it's called a wide back row. So once again, ear over shoulder over hip, knees in front of the hip, in line with the hips, and ankles below the knees. We're gonna fold forward at the hips, okay? Not wrapped, just that simple fold forward. Another little tip I like to give is lift your breakfast or your lunch off your lap. That means that you are engaging your abdominal muscles, which lend support to that low back. So here we go. The first back row we did was a narrow back row. This is the front version of the exercise we just completed. We're gonna do a wide row. So if you have your weights or your suit cans, the palms are now facing behind you and we're rowing right here. Inhale down. 
exhale. Please know I'm using my back versus pulling from my shoulders and elbow. So shoulders and elbows are relaxed. I start at that upper back muscle and I release. Inhale to prepare, exhale on the exertion or as you perform the exercise. Inhale, exhale. Let's do two more practice. And one more. And go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Now what I'm hoping here is that you're understanding the difference between correct form versus improper form. Rolling the shoulders back, we're now going to do a chest exercise. And what I'm gonna ask you to do to start is just place your hand at your chest muscle. Now tighten that chest muscle and release it. Contract and release. Can you feel what's happening right here at the chest? That's your chest. Breast is in a different place nowadays. So this is the chest. Now to work that chest, we're going to do that isometric contraction. Big breath in and exhale as we bring it forward. The mistake here would be swinging that arm. This is not a chest exercise. My chest is getting very little out of this. What this is doing is lubricating my shoulder not what I'm looking for. Instead, I want to engage the chest. Chest fly. Now I'm gonna take my other arm up and I want my arms to be elbows in line with the shoulder. Taking a big breath in, exhale as we contract the chest. Inhale open, exhale contracting. Inhale open, continue. Now see if that doesn't feel different than if you are just swinging those arms open and closed. Eventually, if you do enough of these, sure, your chest is going to fatigue, but is it going to gain strength? Not as quickly. This is called momentum. We're working resistance. Inhale to prepare and exhale, bring it center. Inhale to prepare and exhale. Give me four more like that. Three more. Last two. And last one. Good job. And bring those arms down. So moving on to the bicep. And this is an easy one for me to demonstrate what we're doing here. We're working by isolating the muscles that we're intending to work. If an exercise is called a back row, the first indication there is that you're working your back. If it's called a chest press, you're working your chest. If it's called a bicep curl, you're working the bicep. So I'm gonna show you a bicep at rest, and now look closely at the video and watch as I do an isometric contraction of the bicep. Now I'm releasing it, contracting it. Do you see that going on there? So when we do our basic bicep curl, you've done this a hundred times, it looks like this, doesn't it? But oftentimes people are just working their elbows. They're lubricating their elbows. They're not really getting to the heart of the bicep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow it down. So always starting off in good form, roll those shoulders back, Palms are forward for a basic bicep curl. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you bring it up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, bicep curl. Inhale and exhale. So the exercise starts in that bicep muscle, not with the elbow. I'll show you the difference. This is the bicep curl versus, this is an elbow lubricator, okay? So give me four more good bicep curls. Keep those shoulders back, heads up high, breathing. Inhale to prepare, exhale. Inhale to prepare, and exhale. Keep it going. Three. 
This also allows me to work without any equipment. Nice work. All right, this next exercise is for the tricep. And the, the, um, the form that I see wrong all the time on this one, A is posture and B, the use of momentum. So with the ear over the shoulder and the shoulder over the hip, we're gonna go back to our back row position where we fold forward at the hips. Now we're gonna start with that basic back row. Notice my shoulders aren't in my ears. They're rolled back and down. My hands are at my hips, okay? Not knees, right here. So from this position, we are now ready to work the tricep, the back of the arm. Here we go, exercise, inhale, and extend. Now, this is the correct form. How many of you try to do this exercise like this? Whee, swinging it. That is momentum. Eventually, you will get some tricep work there, but it's gonna take you a lot more repetitions, and it's also um, putting a lot of stress on the joint. Whereas, if we do it correctly, less reps, more work. Inhale to prepare, exhale as you perform the exercise. Give me four more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Ear, shoulder, and hip forming that nice straight line. Lift your breakfast off your lap and come back to seated. That's a real easy tricep if done correctly. Now I'm gonna finish up this upper body series with the shoulder exercise. And the correction that I wanna make on this one is know your shoulder strength because the biggest mistake we make here is trying to go too big, too fast. Shoulders do not have to be all the way extended out to the side. Arms don't have to be extended all the way out. Did you know that folding the arm at a 90 degree angle right here will get you the results that you're looking for? Inhale to prepare and exhale. So this is most um, helpful if you're using weights. Even using just two to four pounds of weights, if your arms are extended, you're gonna find fatigue setting in pretty quick. And then what happens is you're not getting the full range of motion. Most of us will go, you know, just so far. So just by cutting that levers in half, so now we've got 90 degree angle at the elbow. Here we go, shoulder raise. Inhale to prepare and exhale. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, doing the exercise. Give me two more. Two. And last one. So just to recap what we've talked about today, form is much more important than how many reps you do. I'd rather see you do one right than 10 incorrectly. Speed is not your friend. We want to use slow and concise movement. We want to use our breath with that movement. Uh, inhale to prepare, exhale as you perform the exercise. And posture is key in everything that we do. If our posture is off, we're not benefiting as much from the exercise. I hope that you found that sitting up with nice tall posture, I never once asked you to do an abdominal contraction and yet your core was engaged the whole time. Thanks for joining me for this 15 minutes. Um, hope to see you in another video.